Hello and welcome back to Box Gaming in episode number 22 of Feed the Beast. Yes, today uh, it's going to be very excited. Um, I can't wait. Um, you know, I'd, I always say I don't have one for wheat. I did. <laughs> I just didn't remember. Um, going pretty well. I've got 15 stacks of uh, tin, 20 stacks of iron again. That's nice. 13 of bronze. Uh, the only problem has been my... Di hey, actually, I've got extra diamonds. Really? My quarry has been that deep already? Uh, huh? I had 10 just uh, a few hours ago, so... Okay, anyways. The first thing we want to make is the coke oven. So we need some sand and some bricks. Uh, I think my bricks... Aha! Uh -huh. Look at this, by the way. Uh, I made some obsidian pressure plates, which is just two obsidian next to each other. And then I hung some raft lamps here. Same to metal fences. Looks cool, doesn't it? There's some glass around it. I thought so. I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we want some brick bricks. Uh, I haven't fixed this yet, which is a bit of a pain. Um, bricks, bricks, bricks. So where's my bricks? There. Do I have sand? Oh, sand is at home. Cool. Eh. Come on. I think my jetpack is also almost empty. But uh, oh, also I made some more soul shards. Um, oh. Cool, so that's now a cow one. Ow, by the way. Uh, killed one. Okay, cool. It's all good. Um, let's see. Uh, I also did something there, but I'll show you that uh, in a sec. Let me get some sand. Oh, I'm actually losing stuff. What the? Something weird is happening to my storage. Um, right, let's uh, get my digger stuff out. And make some coke oven bricks. I think it's like this or the other way around. One of the two. We'll see. Uh, and actually, how many do we need? Good question. Um, this is the shape, although the middle needs to be filled as well. So, 9, 18, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 24, I think. And I didn't count it properly. So, uh, let's see how many we can make. Oh, God, not enough. Okay. I have to get some more clay. <sighs> Anyways, I'll um. Oh, actually, I, I forgot to show you. Um, I changed this room, of course, because it's gonna be my real craft room. Uh, but also, I got a new sword. You ready? Smite four, Soul Stealer four. Key, imagine. That's just sick. I'm so happy. I'm just so so. I got it, and I, and I was pretty much jumping out of my skin. Um, <laughs> it's just so cool. So, so cool. Alright, so... That thing is going to kill stuff. Literally murder stuff all around. Cool, so the coke oven is a multi-block... Uh, block. <laughs> um, now, let me go get some more bricks. And then I'll be back in a sec. Okay, that should be it. I just made a lot more clay using the uh, minium stone. And then also with the minium stone, you can put uh, minium stone one piece of coal and then the rest filled with clay and I'll cook it for you instantly which is quite nice um, now I finished one up already let's see should have enough yeah I actually made too much but that's okay so you keep one hole in the center empty and the rest you fill up and it'll create like a little window cool so then we can do a couple of things and uh, the first thing we should do is put coal in there because that will start cooking the coil Coil, coke, coal, <laughs> and it takes ages. I think it's a minute per coal, but it makes coal coke. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost anything to make that. Uh, well, except for one coal, of course. Now the coal coke burns longer in a furnace or anything, uh, and it's also the only thing that will burn in the blast furnace. And that's the next thing we want to make. So let's have a look. Soul sand, I've got that. Nether brick, I've got that. Magma cream, slime ball. Oh god. Please tell me I've got some magma cream. Uh, I have some slime balls. How do I make slime balls? Is there any way to make that? Nope. Uh, look at all these princesses and drones and stuff. I've never found that many ever. I've, I've been mining for I don't know, 20, 30 hours so far total. And I haven't found a single one. And my quarry is finding them everywhere. It's quite cool. Uh, anyways, yeah, I don't have a, like, hmm. 
Okay, I'll go into the nether and I'll go find some because I need, let's see, I need 9 plus 8 plus 8 plus 9 of these things. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a few. I'll go and go to the nether and I might meet you there. <laughs> just in the nether and I just wanted to show you the utter destruction that's being caused <laughs> by my pump. Whoops. Um, yeah. That's pretty horrible. Eh, whatever. I also decided to um, get a soul shard out. I'm gonna... I mean, it's gonna be a very slow and painful process, but... I'm going to try to get a soul shard up for these things eventually. I know it'll take a while, probably, but... Actually, I should have gone through the other nether portal. Alright, I'll go back, um, back to home and I'm back to the other nether portal to come to my uh, nether fortress. And uh, see, there's still a death point there. <laughs> Oops. Uh, and then I'll be back there with some magma cream, hopefully. Aha! Ha! <laughs> right outside. I come outside the portal and I can hear something. So I break through the wall and what do I see? I see these things. Now, the cool thing about these and getting a spawner for these is that every little one you kill um, gives you uh, counts as a whole kill. So, one of these, I don't know how many it'll give me, but. 65 out of 1. Of course, I've got the sword, so that helps as well, but that's pretty cool. Is there another one there? Is that one? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, I haven't been in this part at all, I think. I think that fortress I usually follow goes that way. Ow, get out. Jetpack makes this so much easier. I've got these things, don't die. Come on, die. Buggers. Oh, wow, I might actually die. Well, not die, but get close. Okay, I hate to drop right on these things. I'm, I can't wait to get a spawner. That'll be so handy. Not a single one. Okay, let's go up here. There might be a blaze spawner here. Looks like no. Too bad. Holy, this. Uh, oh, I haven't seen this part of the fortress at all. Oh, what is that? What the? Oh, an aura. Okay. It's a nether ward there. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll just uh, run around trying to find some more of these um, slimy things. How cool is this? Um, no, netters, but no blaze spawn, that's a bit sad. Cool, I f think I'll calculate I need 34 blocks for one blast furnace, so I mean one is enough for now, so I'll just get um, 9 in total, 9 magma cream. So once I get that, I'll be back in the overworld. See you in a bit. All right, oh, whew, how we're back. Um, I've got good news and some more good news and also a little bit of bad news. Um, first of all, I found another two fortresses on my travel. So that's the good news. My blaze soul shard is done and I didn't even have to touch that um, spawner. So I was pretty happy with that. Second of all, look at this. Magma cube. Tier 4 killed 548. <laughs> Look at what I got back from it. Nine only. I'm so depressed. It took so long. I've been, I don't know, I've been in the net at probably three or four hours, I reckon, total. Something like that. Um, not all in ones, of course. Uh, I'm actually recording this part half a day later because just because of this stupid magma cream. Um, yeah. Phew. Uh, the other bad news is that. Um, I had to stop killing magma cubes with this sword, sadly, so I could have got them probably up to 700 by now. Um, yeah, you know, cool. Uh, let's get right into this. So this goes here. Hey, where's this going? Blast. Um, blast burns brick, soul sand. Oh, sh I didn't harvest any more salt. No, 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 no. Hey. Hmm. I'll do that. Can't remember what I did because it's been a while. Okay. My soul sand should. No, this one. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec getting my soul sand. <laughs> I don't want to go to the nether. Actually, I'll show you um, how far that one. How far I went. Um, show you that from here. See, 2,000 meters further that way. And I did go a bit that way as well, but I couldn't find anything. 
Uh, it was horrifying. It was horrifying. I actually had to come back because my um, jetpack ran out. So I came back and then I used the book. So somewhere uh, along there <laughs> is a book as well. Yeah. Anyways, I'll go get some soul sand. And I'll be right back. I'll get a goodly supply because it's also handy for formcraft. Uh, that's why it's in my formcraft room. Yeah. Okay. See you in a bit. Oh my god. Look at that. It's not a nether fortress. Only 300 meters away. That pisses me off. <laughs> uh, look at this, by the way. The farming of soul sand is so awesome with this thing. It costs a buttload of power because it um, it's still, you know, one block is one block, doesn't matter what it is. Ow! You frick. Um, okay, so I've got a fair amount now. Yeah, okay, cool. Let me put my jetpack on again. Let's uh, see what's there. That's all. This is a blaze down there, I think. Isn't there? Oh, there's it. Ow! Okay, well. Yeah, I might have to come here again soon. I know where it is. Okay. Oh, back in a sec, I'll make the uh, blast furnace bricks and then we can get started making some steel. Yeah, cool. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I'm just building the um, bl damn it, the blast furnace now. Um, it's exactly the same as the coke oven, except for one hole in the middle, you, you leave two in the middle. Uh, that's all, that's all the difference. And of course, different bricks. Um, okay, I can't seem to... Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Now we get the cool coke out of the oven. And you can also see creosote oil. We will do something with that, but not yet. So all you do is put that in there and get some iron. Hopefully we have some here nice and close. Of course we do. And I was right, by the way. You need 34 for one of these machines. Cool. So this will start smelting and it will make steel. Now that will take a fair amount of time. It's not too bad. Um, whilst we do that, I also turned off my, um, what do you call it, my, um, quarry for a bit. God, that took me a while. Oh, it's dark, okay. Danger, danger. I love this farm, looks so cool. The rock lamps there. Okay, so, next thing, research. I finally got this. I have pretty much researched everything there is now. Well, no, that's not true, but a lot. Um, oh, um, I was looking for one specific thing called the portable hole, and this thing is amazing. Um, as you can see, I researched quite a bit. I've got most of these golems done. I've actually got them all done now. I even got the fighter one, the yeah, advanced one. And also got this thing. I'll, I'll have to more look into it and see what I can do. But for now, let's get out a portable hole. Boom. Done. Portable hole. Um, four enchanted fabric and an ender pearl. And 200 Vs. Holy. Um, vacuous, Pimitatio, and Eldritch. Ooh. How many pearls do I have left? Four. I'll probably have some in the base as well. How much do I need? 24. Yeah, I'll have to get some more. Oh, no. Huh. Got some here. Cool. All right. So um, let's see. We need an ender pearl first. Let's put that in here. Let's uh, put it together slowly. Uh, an enchanted fabric. How do we do that again? Uh, on the arcane work table, stringable. Okay. String. No string. Oh yeah, string. Cool. And wool. Now we need four pieces, so that's nice and easy. Uh, one, two, actually hang on. Four. Some wool. Boom. Now we put that around it. Now this thing, uh, this item is one of my favorite items of all time in uh, in Formcraft. Oh, actually, not just in Formcraft, everywhere. Cool. So I've got a lot of vi files. Um, they have that on them. Let's see what what else do I need? I need twenty four of that. Holy crap! That's gonna be a lot of trash, but you know, has to be done. So I guess I could use something else, but this works quite well. Um, so that's something we need. We also need. 24 of that, so we need 8 ender pearls. Okay, and we also need Permitatio 16, so I've got a lot of seeds, of course. Okay, that should be it. Let's have a look, shall we? So that, 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 
portable hole. <laughs> I love this thing. Now this thing, if you right click, it actually removes some part and you can walk through it. How cool is that? Uh, it doesn't seem to cost anything except for some flux apparently, but not, not an awful amount. I've had this on my test board for a bit now uh, and it's pretty awesome. Boom. It just makes it so much easier. You want to go downstairs? Sure. Sure. Uh, it also goes pretty far and I'm not sure how far. Oh, not enough charge. Okay. Sorry. Charge first. Sorry. Voom. Look at that. Ta-da. That's awesome, isn't it? Very cool. Okay, let's see what our rolling machine has done so far. Uh, sorry, our uh, blast furnace has done. Hopefully we got some steel. I don't need much. I just need four pieces. Okay, I'll do. Uh, what we want to make is the rolling machine. And the rolling machine is a real craft item. So we need a crafting bench, four pistons. Okay, not too bad. Where's my piston? Here. Um, there. One, two. Oh, what do I need? Wood. Wood is easy. Bonk. <coughs> Probably had some of this just next to it. Hey. Who are you to judge me, huh? Iron is in here. Four. Four pistons, is that right? Yep, a crafting bench. Can do that as well, not a problem, and some iron, okay, hey, cool, so we make this here because uh, that's our build craft and all that, and this is more build craft than rip out really, I mean it's not build craft, but I would say it's closer to that, key, rolling machine, let's uh, hook this baby up, shall we, now let's just put it right next to here, boom, um, oh it needs power of course, oops, Let's go get some power and our steel as well. Steel should be done. Yeah. Four steel ingots. That's all we need. And no, it's not here. It's here. I should have lots of this stuff. I make like a bunch at a time because I can't be asked to smell redstone all the time. <laughs> oh, whoops. Ah, I hate it when I do that. Oh. Okay. Steel. Steel plates, nice. I'll start making it for us. Whew. It's a bit of work, isn't it, to get this? Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't. I don't need more than three, do I? Can't remember how many I need. I think just one. Yeah, just one. So some wood and some golden carrots. Okay, that's easy. Um, how many? Four. Really? Really? Are you that? Sick. You f I'm sure I had more than that because I destroyed that whole farm, but hey, there we go. <laughs> Took it out of my sorting machine. As I can. Alright, let's uh, eat some steak. Uh, and we also need some gold so that we can... Uh, I don't want a whole stack, but okay. So that we can make that into... Let's see, that makes nine, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, so we probably need a bit more. Now, I can't remember. I think it's just like that, to be honest. Let's see if I'm right. Yep. Four. Cool. i uh, put a nuggets in there for now. Um, okay, feeding station. That's it. That's it. Whoa, whoa what's happening? Um, one, two, three, four. Plates in the middle. Yeah, and wood. Really? Really? Did I just uh, do that? Whoops. <laughs> Almost finished. Uh, wood. Feeding station. Boom. Now this thing doesn't need power or anything. It's uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, that's no, we've got. Uh, this thing will automate our cow farm just a tiny little bit. Because uh, I'm getting a bit sick of this stuff. Constantly having to feed them. And I forget a lot as well. So, so what's the, this is the middle maybe? Okay. Get lost. That should be the middle. Boom. Is that the middle? Yeah. Right, so all we do is get out of there because it's noisy. And we put some wheat in there. Boom. 
and it'll start feeding the cows. You can see the hearts coming out. Now, it does this quite slowly, but that's okay. We don't need to have it slow. Right, so um, I'll be back in a sec again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a filter. Uh, two filters, actually. I've got one. That's too bad. <laughs> um, ah, I've got a minion. Nice. And also a timer, which I'm sure I don't have a timer. So I probably should keep some timers on uh, handy. Still why? Oh, yeah, I need to make some more stuff, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, all, all back. All good. I'm happy. Now, the first thing I want to do is actually, oh, hang on. Get my wand out. Um, there we go. And zap him a bit. I don't know what happens when I remove this chest. Okay, there we go. And then, um, we're going to go deep a bit here. We're just going to go dig around a bit. Oh, there's a cave down here. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll pick you up as well. <laughs> Whoops. I uh, didn't realize there would be stuff down here. Okay. Um, so my idea for this whole cow, because that... Whoops. Uh, that, that feeding station needs grain, right? And this makes too much grain. Like We can't handle it that much. So um, what I want to do is put a chest there. It doesn't matter any chest. Uh, it doesn't have to be big. Put a filter there. Is that right? Yeah. Um, put a time. Oh, okay, well the timer's gonna be out in the open a little bit, but uh, that's okay for now. Maybe later I'll change that. But filter will go there. Um, then we're gonna get this tube. Oh, actually, I need to get some more grain. That was my grain out there. Uh, just, just the single one will do. Yeah, just the one will do. All right, so we'll have this running down. Close that off. Like that. Right. And then we'll have... Oh, I don't have a restriction tube on me. Of course not. Oh, of course not. Why would I have a restriction tube on me? That's too boring, isn't it? Okay. Um, no, yeah, I know I just made a chest, but I don't need a chest. I need some iron. There. Um, so let's get one of these upgraded. There you go. Boom. Bada boom. All oh, good. Okay, I'm happy now. I think this is uh, this is going to work quite well, I think. It's just going to take a lot of hassle out of it for us. So this is going to have a restriction tube, and then it's going to have the ender chest, right? So... Any item that will not go through this filter... <laughs> a little bit of trouble placing it. Um, we'll go into the ender chest and this filter will only accept wheat. Nice. And now we just have to sort of find our way all the way to the feed station, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, I'm thinking that some cows are going to fall here, so don't don't be too, too alarmed. Oh yeah. Sorry if it's dark. Sorry, sorry. Uh, let's go one deeper. Now, where I should get to the gravel. There you go. Where am I? Okay, a bit more. Where am I? I am there. Cool. Nice. Uh, okay, that's not exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. Is that connected? Can't see. Nope. Why would it be connected? That's too easy. I hope I have enough stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, the only problem is that I can't get out anymore, but I guess that's, that's okay. Uh, that's actually very okay, because we have the portable hole! Uh, although this might, it does cows above me, that's gonna end badly. So maybe here. Yeah, oh, perfect. Cool. Now all we need to do is sort of fill this in, but uh, I'll just... <clears throat> I'll just fill it in like this. Um, where's my dirt? There. Boom, 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 boom. And actually, you know what? I might as well fix this. Else I'll forget for the next 25 episodes, probably. Cool. 
So anything that comes in this chest will be pulled out, will go in the filter, either to the feeding station if it's wheat, or it'll go into the end chest. Um, now I did actually forget something of course, and that is the fact that if that feeding station is full, it needs to have another way back to that chest. So um, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, all fixed. So I just made a little roundabout again with a restriction tube so that if it can't go to the feeding station uh, after it goes into the filter, it'll still go into the end of the chest. Cool. So now I can put that there, that'll start, and we can put him on there. And now let's have a look. Um, there is some wheat here, actually. I can uh, break that myself. No, no, not sugar cane. Eh, uh, you bugger. You. Where are you going? Up, pick up some wheat. See, it's still feeding animals. Don't fall, don't fall. So it's 46 at the moment. I was wondering if it's. Are you putting any wheat in there? Nope, more sugar cane. More sugar cane, of course. Um, but you can see my cow farm is growing, so all I'll have to do is uh, I might do the same with um, sheep no I don't need sheep actually why, why do I need sheep I might do the same with a carrot farm to get piggies because pigs are cool that's the only reason um, yeah okay cool so that is pretty cool that's working as well so we, we're gonna get a steady supply of cow and cows and leather because leather is quite a good resource for um, for what do you want to call it uh, for form craft, so what I do want to do is get another blast furnace, but for that I'll really need to go hunting again. So I might do that off camera, of course. By the way, <laughs> definitely off camera. Um, cool. Did I just put some in there? I think I just put some sugar cane in there. A little bit earlier. Yeah, there we go. Fifty-one. Nice. That is working so nicely. So now. This is completely automated, the cow farm is completely automated, um, the pig farm I'll do off camera because that's just the same thing, I'll just make a little uh, carrot field somewhere, I might cut half of this off and just make it carrot field, actually I might cut half of this off, because sugar cane I don't really need that much, I mean it's good for paper, for knowledge, uh, for form craft, but apart from that it's not too useful, so I've already got 23 stacks, that's not too much actually, oh there we go, beautiful, alright, um, let's see if my sorting machine has cleared itself out because that's also one of the reasons I stopped the quarries because this was chock block full, like all these relays were full and all the all the furnaces as well, um, which I might have to upgrade them to um, IC2 induction furnaces or something along those lines. But am I missing a cover there? Uh, oh, that annoys me. I have to fix that. <laughs> cool. So I will go now, uh, and next episode we're going to do a very quick blaze spawner. I'll do it off camera mostly because well, it's it's very simple. I mean, blazes only die from water, so you know that's the only way you can really reliably and easily kill them. Um, hang on, the carrot? No, it's potatoes, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we'll do a little blaze spawner, and then uh, we'll do something else. I'm not sure yet. We might do some um, industrial craft for a bit because we haven't done that much yet. So we might go um, make a mass fabricator. What's flying there? That's weird. Uh, yeah, we might make a mass fab actually. That's quite handy to have. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time in episode 23.